I'm Adam Riley. He is Peter Kansas. Peter, uh, as you may recall, I made a New Year's resolution not to talk about Elizabeth <laughs> Warren maybe running for president. Uh, I'm here to break that resolution today. Again. <laughs> Again. Uh, I know you love it when I do this. There was an interesting piece in the Boston Globe written by Jim O'Sullivan talking about Warren backers in western Massachusetts telling her essentially, don't run, we need you, and it's too soon. Does the fact that they are making uh, those entreaties indicate that we should, in fact, be thinking about her running for president after all, or is it just more of the same from the Boston media? <laughs> no, no. I, 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 th I think your eagerness to move on <laughs> is getting in your way. I think it's a brilliant piece of political stagecraft by her most likely outside advisors. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think they're trying to tamp it down locally. I have taken her at her word right from the start you have? where she said she's not running. Look, if Hillary Clinton doesn't run, maybe she'll rethink it. I, I don't see that as happening. I think what this is is a good local story, you know, in the in the region's you know biggest paper, saying that you know not everyone wants her to run. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, so you see this as engineered by the Warren camp to make people like me relax a little bit. I do. Okay, very much so, and I think it's a smart move. I mean, they're trying to manage expectations. They're trying to communicate with their supporters. There's a bit of theater here, but politics is theater. Is it also uh, an attempt to get the draft Warren people, the ready for Warren people, to chill out as well? Because they're not giving up. Yes. It is. All right. <laughs> Peter Kansas, thanks as always. Thank you as always for watching the Scrum. We'll talk more, we'll talk more about Elizabeth Warren's upcoming presidential run in the near future. <laughs> no. No.